Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play of Above Snakes. My name's Smox, I'm from Celebrant Quest. Um, and last time um, we played, Joanne had just left us and now we have to find the survivors of Corpse Creek. Uh, and we also have to tear down a couple of buildings that are in um, this original settlement. Now, this terrible um, two by two is my little house but I get to take down this shelter so let's do that so let's take everything down wonderful oh god did we only get two planks and two fibers for that it's pretty bad all right let's take down this one we already made sure that the old man was gone um all right, perfect. So that's done. Let's get out of the build mode. How do I do that? Escape. All right, your shelter. Congratulations on making your first shelter in Hunter's Rest. Yay! <laughs> you can keep it um, and use it for your survival or take it down and build it up anywhere else. Okay, that's cool. Um, that is completely up to you. All righty. Well, oh, okay. Cartography. This land is full of mysteries to explore, but before I can go exploring, I need to make a cartography table to work on my map. I'd right, have to build a cartography table, use it to research a new world piece, and place planes to find uh, to pine forest world piece. Place a planes to pine forest world piece. Okay, we can do that. So let's zoom in. We've got our workbench. Um, alrighty. What did I need to make? I need to make a map. Um, build a cartography table. Okay, how do I do that? Let's see. Da, da, da. Cartography table. Okay, what do we need? We need ink. Huh. All right, how do I make ink? I need feathers. <laughs> okay, how do I get feathers? Probably from a bird. Um, okay. Well, I say in that case, maybe let's... Maybe let's move on to search these two... Um, these two pieces, world pieces and um see if we can find oh, what was that a pine tree see if we can find a, a bird or something oh a feather oh okay so we get the feathers from the pine trees okay i would never would have guessed that to be quite honest <laughs> all right ink um all right let's craft that Beautiful, and let's make the cartography table. Just wanted to make sure that I was actually making that and not something else, like an idiot. <laughs> Alright, so... Do I have to put this cartography table in the house? I'm not sure. It, I mean, it would kind of make sense, but... No? Oh yeah, I can. Can I do it outside too? I can. You know what? I am actually going to place this outside near my workbench because it sounds a little bit silly to just have a cartography table inside and nothing else. All right. So, new world piece researchable. I guess that's what the cartography table is for. Okay. Plain, plains slash pine forest. Oh, that's a... Okay, that's a piece in itself. I thought it was saying that I had to put pine forest right next to a plains piece. Okay. Right, biomes. During your journey, you will come across different biomes. You can place these biomes whenever you, wherever you want on the map, but you need to make sure to create transitions between them. Okay. The biome on the edge of the world piece needs to match the surrounding world piece. Think about that when placing a new world piece. Okay. So I guess that makes sense. You can't just have a plane and then like go straight into a desert. Alrighty, so. Uh, place a plains to pine forest world piece. Okay, so we had... This is the plains piece that we're on here. This is another plains piece here. Um, 
I'm wondering if we can place it next to us here, considering this tile here looks like planes as well. I'm not sure. Let's try. Um, how do we place a planes piece? Um, alright, well maybe let's just check back at the cartography table. It's not... Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I want that. Like, can, how do I how do I copy that, please? Unless I can't place a new piece yet. You know what? That might be the issue. I think I can't place the new piece yet. So if that's the case, let's do some more collecting. Um, as we see down here, our kind of like exploration meter will will increase. As we do this. Okay. Let's get some more berries. And it looks like we will need to sleep at some point. Um, we've got here fatigue. Increases when walking or harvesting. It can be restored by resting, standing still, or warming up near a fireplace. Okay. So basically just stand still and, and you'll be fine. Okay, great. Um, we may as well use our axe to get a few bits and bobs. Oh, a new world piece is ready. Oh, okay. That explains why I couldn't place it before. All right, C. It was C. Okay, I wasn't losing my mind. Okay. Um, rotate. Does that? No. So it's saying that that is a no-go, but that is okay. All right, let's try it here. Okay. Hide forest. To extend, expand my shelter, I should search nearby forests for more resources. Okay, let's go. Uh, I hate to tell you, but it doesn't look like there's very many resources here. Um, we need... Is it a pickaxe we need? I assume so. Look at these rocks. I don't know why. Let's just pick them up. What do we do to these bushes? Nothing. What about the app? The app? No. We can definitely harvest this bush though. There we go. I think that gets us less huckleberries than we had before. Alright. Let's pick up this stuff. And what do we need to do? We need to research and place a pine forest. Okay, so I'm guessing that that's where the survivors of Corpse Creek are going to be located. Oh, we needed four rocks. I didn't know that. That's weird. <laughs> that was very lucky. Alright, a pine forest. Okay, so we need to... Okay, let's eat some more berries because our thirst and our... Hunger is going down and we've got plenty of berries here. Let's collect some more um what's this? Twine, plant fibers, etc. Axe increases to 13. I wonder if we'll need to have a a real uh weapon to I don't know, like a spear or something to hunt some animals. Or maybe fight off the zombies. Because in the last episode, I didn't realize that the man on the ground was alive and I was just walking on him. Um, which was very rude of me. Alright, so a new world piece is available. Uh, King Bullet? It's a King Bullet. It's a mushroom! Ah, in the pine forest. Okay, what do we get? I, I saw the search the pine forest, but I'm just wondering, what do we get from taking this down? And then when we search this pine tree, do we get feathers again? Down. Branch. Okay. Alright, let's put this... um pine piece down. I can see how maybe 
um, I don't know, maybe you might get stuck with where you've got to put pieces. Oh look, here's a beehive. Search the pine tree. Oh, am I going to get stung? Oh my gosh, there's a zombie. What did we kill the zombie with last time? I think it was an axe. Let's try. And how did we... Oh yeah, it was space to dodge, wasn't it? Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to be disaster space. Oh dear. <laughs> we really need something that's a little bit more, um, you know, sort of efficient than an axe. <laughs> oh, a bone axe. All right, let's head back. Head back to camp because I want to see if what just came from the, um, Oh, it seems we have a new quest at the workbench. If I upgrade my workbench, I'll be able to build more complex things. Every workbench level requires certain resources for upgrading. Oh, dusk and night. It has become dusk. That means that the night is close. If you are not willing to fight all kinds of dangers in the wild, you should return to your shelter or build one. Okay. It is also wise to have a light source and enough logs to fuel it before the night falls. Alright, that's probably good advice. A campfire. Oh, what did I click before that? <laughs> oh, okay, campfire. Let's make one of these. Alright, let's see. Campfire. Now, can I put this inside my house? Oh, in the door, darling. No, okay, campfire has to go outside. Um, we'll block our way in. Let's put it. I say let's put it here. So, very cool. Oh, cook. Okay, what have we got? Probably nothing. Oh, I see. So, we can add the mushrooms. What did that do? Oh, that actually made it... Oh no, that made it more nutritious. Got you. What's this thing? What happens if I take a berry out and put that... Oh, it's in... Oh, okay. We don't want anything that's inedible. Alright, so tea to cook. Let's do that. Very cool. What happens if we do three berries? Oh, it's a new recipe. Okay, let's try it. Huckleberry bowl. Beautiful. We may as well make another one. Alright. Sounds pretty good. F for fuel. Which lumber I have. I probably should go and um, search the pine trees and then cut them down, I guess. Okay. New world piece is ready. Alright, we're not quite there yet. Jeez, the night did come really quickly, didn't it? Okay. I wonder what kind of nasties will come out at night. I'm gonna guess the um gonna guess the vampires. Oh not vampire zombies. Um let's make a hay bed, because we don't have one. Right, let's put that inside. Should we put this there? Beautiful. All right. How much does our let's put another fuel in? It'd be interesting to see a timer um, for how how much of the night I have. Okay, let's try some of this, that huckleberry bowl. Okay, so that did all my hunger, a little bit of water and sanity. Sanity reduces in response to several occurrences, such as when searching a grave or making contact with the lost souls. Okay, it can be restored by medicine or sleep. All right, so we will sleep. Um, let's just check out the workbench. 
while we're here. Um, all right, we don't need any of those just yet. We're not going to make a decorative plant. I'm cold, it says. What's this? Plains pine forest. Did we not? Plains pine forest. Huh. It's like more foresty? Okay, that's interesting. So we need rocks for that one. Um, I say let's go to sleep and we'll deal with that in the morning. Oh gosh, let's close our door. How about that? We can save the game. Might as well do that. Oh dear. We missed, <laughs> we missed the opportunity to sleep. Okay, well that's fine, whatever. Um, I'm just going to leave that go for now. Okay, so let's let's continue on down this way into the pine forest. Um, we'll see. I may as well search these trees and everything. Um, I've still got to find the camp, but we'll see if um, see if researching and adding this other piece gives us the camp's piece. Okay. You can take damage from that. Interesting. Okay. Noted. <laughs> let's not walk under the um let's not walk under the tree. I wonder if those bushes come back every season or, or I don't know does this game has have season be interesting to know if they came back every season or is it like every after every night oh, two new world pieces already all right I better I better get some rocks so that we can upgrade this um research the world piece uh, the world piece <laughs> It sounds like world peace, P-E-A-C-E. -E. It's very off-putting. Why am I hitting that with an axe? I need the pickaxe. I would have, I've noticed eventually, guys. <laughs> All right. Can I get these rocks? No, okay. They're already done. Look, here's some more rocks. Let's get these rocks. Beautiful. Right. Let's uh, research the new world piece. Let's actually press F. That would help. <laughs> oh, oh, it's the survivors camp. Okay. So I guess I have to actually place the survivors camp hmm okay I need free beeswax to upgrade the workbench so that's not happening right now because I don't have any beeswax um that's the bone axe we can make too pickaxe I need beeswax for that as well. Okay, so for our upgraded tools, we need beeswax for everything. Okay. Right, so. Select a perk at your workbench. Hang on a second. What perk can we have? Backpack. No, that's fine. What was that thing in the end? Oh, just a bone. Crafting. Nope. Okay. Oh, here we go. Shelter and perks. All right. Higher workbench level required. Select a perk at your workbench. Okay. Shelter level one. Shelter level two. Okay. So it goes up a bit. So fortification fortifies your shelter. Your maximum health increases by 10. Whetstone. Whetstone sharpen your weapons. 
your melee damage is increased by three. Softer hay. Hay beds are softer. Your maximum fatigue and um, maximum sanity increases by 15. Uh, I'm going to go melee damage. Is that it? Oh, I got you. Right. Is that what I do? Have I done it? Hello? <laughs> All right. Let's see. New world piece is researchable. Okay, I need to search for water, do I? Find a lake and drink water. Okay, for now, let's just eat some of our berries. Because that gives us a little bit of water and um, hunger as well. But yeah, I can see that really is not moving much. Um, okay. Plains and lake. Okay, great. Let's do that one. And what do we need for this one? We need four rocks for the plains pine forest. I'm so confused because we we already have a plains pine forest, but it I mean it does appear that it's a little bit more piney on one end. So I'm wondering with the lake. I've already forgotten. Was it Plains Lake? Alright. It was Plains Lake. I was going to say because I'll have to put that quite far away from us. So what I'm going to do is I think... Where's my map? Let's have a look. So the map, we've got Plains, Plains and the Plains Pine Forest. And we have Pine Forest here. Um, I think I'm going to put the lake, I might put the lake just on this one, um, and see how that goes. Nope, can't do that one. I need to rotate that around. Oh, I could put that there. At, mm, no, you know what, we'll, we'll do it, um, actually, let's do it this way. That could be kind of cool. And then we could have, um, oh, maybe I've just completely screwed this up, I don't know. But then maybe we could have <laughs> the same kind of Plains Lake here and I don't know if I put Plains Lake here and then Plains Lake here, will that kind of join them up? I don't know. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to experiment and just see. I will put that camp down though. So if I put this there, I can. And then I can put that lake tile that I just saw. Um, I want to choose a different one all right so the survivors camp okay that's a complete complete one on it in itself um i'm gonna it's not silly to put it right next to my camp is it let's just do it let's just do it okay so let's go to the lake and let's drink some water uh which way is that this way Scoop the water. Okay. Did that do anything? Oh, dirty water. Okay, I, I'm guessing that I probably have to cook it on the fire. What's, what's this? This looks like, um, oh, it's too weak. Okay, my weapon's too weak. All right, we need to, um, Oh dear. Let's search this tree because I need to get back to base because uh, nightfall's coming. Um, and I'm way too much of a chicken to be caught out here. <laughs> oh, we picked up some honey. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and some beeswax. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Let's just get this one as well. Get some of these sneaky ones in. And then I think we can upgrade the workbench. <gasps> What's hitting me? Was the were the bees hitting me? Probably. Oh, sorry guys, in the camp I almost just took you all out. <laughs> um okay. You know what? I'm going to do the water first. Like that. All right. Let's see if we cook 
Dirty water. New recipe. How many can we add? Let's just add the one. Oh, I don't want to add honey. I'm sorry. Do I want to add honey? No, no, no. Not just yet. Let's just do this for now. All right, let's cook this one. Beautiful. All right. Well, it did say we could put something in there. Why not? Let's just see what this does. Cooked meal. Is that the same cooked meal that we had? Did, did we just make a cooked meal? Might have been the same kind of cooked meal. All right. What is honey? Okay, honey and berry just makes the same thing. Yeah. All right. Add some more fuel. Do you know what? I am going to actually sleep this night because the last night um, I didn't. All right. Where's the water gone? Um, oh, darn it. Did I use. No. Did I use the water to upgrade? We need three big spikes. Okay. Did I use the water to cook that meal? I might have. Um, all right, let's save our game and let's rest for the night. <sighs> oh my gosh, my the water stat is like really low. Let's just quickly, in desperation, eat some berries. We're going to have to go berry hunting. So let's go down to... Let's go down to the water via these berries. And then we'll go and see these people at the camp. All right. We can upgrade our tools as well so that we can mine this what I assume is going to be iron how many waters have we got let's let's get five while we're here he says no shortage of these world pieces check the crate oh <laughs> there's the water there what? Ooh. I wonder if I'll get in trouble for stealing from their barrels Oh well. <laughs> Too bad because I'm doing it. Horseshoe. Okay. I hope he doesn't say to me, here's a quest, go and open the barrels and, you know, do this, and then I've absolutely just ruined the quest. Because <laughs> that wouldn't be good. Alright. Hello. Who's this? Sam Brown, and who are you? Rick Brown. Alright, let's talk to hmm. Sam. Good day, stranger. How did you find us out here in this nirvana? Well, mate, I, I put you right next to my camp. <laughs> Me and my brother Greg um, have been here for days and we can't go home. Ask what happened. What happened to you? Well, we used to live in Corpse Creek before the Night of the Flames. During our escape, we lost most of our provisions. Okay. I'm... How did you lose your provisions? We lost most of our things in a nearby prairie when our wagon was toppled in an attack by, well, let's say one of our own. Oh dear. <laughs> Who attacked you? Well, let's not talk about that for now. It was not an easy moment for us. We are lucky to be still alive. Oh dear. This fire and a handful of provisions are all that stand between us and the grave. Oh, well, I just took some of it. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> Maybe it's too much to ask, but we are afraid of going back there. Do you think you can get our provisions back? Of course I can. All right, we'll be waiting your return. Okie dokie. Lost provisions. I promised to help Sam and Greg Brown by retrieving their lost provisions from the prairie. I guess I have to make the prairie at the cartographer's. Oh, I can good I can um, stay the night hmm. in a tent if I need but I'm right next to my camp good day I'm Greg Brown 
I ran the trading post in Corpse Creek together with my brother Sam before we had to leave the town. Alrighty, mate. Bye. Keep going. We'll just try to basically steal everything we can. Hopefully we'll find a trader at some point. Oil lantern. Nice. Alright. Might as well grab these berries. And... I think we need to head off to the um head off to the pine forest to get a few more bits of beeswax but hang on now now that i've just said that out loud we found beeswax in these plane trees actually so let's search these and then we can chop them down and see what happens Right. Of course, trying not to get hit by the falling tree. See any trees with bees in them? But you. Oh, that one there. Beautiful. There we are. Come on. Just need some beeswax, okay? Maybe when we chop it down. Go. Beautiful. Jeez, I'm thirsty again. Did I drink it all from that? Lucky I didn't die, honestly. Okay, let's see if I can. All I've got is that dirty water. Do I have an inventory? Oh, of course I do. <laughs> oh, look at that. All the water just, um, that was satiated right away. All right, let's see what I can do. Let's upgrade the workbench. Beautiful. Let's go to the cartographer's table. Let's do the lake. Actually, what's this one? The prairie. Let's do the prairie first because, I mean, unless we've got the resources to do both, which we do, let's do both. We need to put a prairie down. So let's look at the map. My plan is to put a half lake here, Plains Lake, and then a lake here. Or half Plains Lake, half Plains Lake. Hmm. I don't know how that would go unless you do like two plains lakes here. Let's see if that works. Um, how do I rotate that? Yeah, there we go. So then that sort of sits together. I mean, I could do that, but I don't think I can then put that piece. So I don't do that. And that will kind of <laughs> make a lake there. <laughs> um, let's put the prairie. Mm. Okay, so the prairie can be like next to it, next to that sort of thing. Or, I don't, I wonder if, yeah, okay, let's put the prairie, let's put the prairie here. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. Oh my gosh. We just keep getting more things. So we've got the plains prairie and a prairie. We need flint. What else can we make in the workbench? Uh, oh, I see. That's all tier one. This is tier two. Storage chest, a rocking chair table etc we've got a tanning rack by the looks of it tannery pelt rug a fletching table we need a wooden table for that I wonder if I can just make a table does that go inside my house sure 
I should extend my house, actually. It's not a bad idea. Um, because... Where's the table gone? Nope. Nope. Hang on. Backpack. Equipment. Building. There we go. Assign. Oh, no, place. I want to place it. Can I put you in the house? I can. It just seems a bit awkward in the house. Um. So it's just a table, isn't it? Let's just see how it goes. And I can always extend my house anyway. I'm going to do at the table. Nothing. You know what I can do, though? Um, research. Right, research the cartography table. So I need flint. Oof, can we make it before night falls? Let's see. A little better. Did we pick up any flint? I just saw a rock. Alright, let's try this pile. Hopefully. I hope no nasties. Oh, there's flint. Okay, beautiful. Let's go back. And hope that no nasties get us on the way. It's funny that when we come back to Hunter's Rest, um, our footprints kick up um, the green, like, not smoke, but like, I don't know, some kind of greenness from the meteorite crash okay oh no so we can't put it there huh got you okay so hmm how do i okay edit the world that's what i want to do i want to oh i need two ink to remove the prairie Um, you know what? Let's just leave it there. Um, let's see. I probably can make ink here. Yeah, here we go. Let's just make some ink. Make two of those. No, oh, it's fine. Let's, yeah, let's move. We will move the, um, we'll move this, this one here. How do I move Plains Prairie? Okay. I don't really, really want to remove it. I just want to... Okay, I see what's happened now. Because I've removed it, I've already used one of the research... Um, research... Uh, research tiles. Uh, that's fine. Let's put that there. And we'll just have to put the prairie on the other side. Um... Okay, I need to rest. I know. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <sighs> Let's rest. All right. Well, this was really fun. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave it here for now. So um, next episode, what we'll do is continue exploring around. I'm going to gather some resources. I want to I want to make my shelter a little bit bigger. This is quite ugly and quite small. I mean, just I'll just make it a little bit better uh, in terms of size. I don't know about, you know, aesthetics or anything. <laughs> but um, we'll explore. We'll put the um, the prairie um, the prairie tile down and um, yeah, help out these hunters and see um, and see what else they have to offer for us. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, this is Smox from Celebrant Quest. Um, and I'll see you in the next episode of Above Snakes Let's Play. Thanks very much. Bye.